Machine learning and artificial intelligence may just change the way workplace disciplinary procedures are administered and adjudicated. An AI bot launched by Global Business Solutions can reduce time spent and resources consumed by workplace disciplinary processes by as much as 60%. Courtney Buerta, who is the head of the Artificial Intelligence Division at Global Business Solutions, joins me for more on this. Courtney, good evening. Thank you so much for your time. Really do appreciate it. Why is there a need for AI to be involved in what can be a very complex and subjective adjudication process? Yes, just to say good evening to you and your viewers. Thank you so much for having us this evening. My, my personal view is that AI is here, um, it's very exciting, and it's not going anywhere. And just like with any industrial revolution, we always have what we find are beneficiaries and casualties of change. Um, we've seen many changes happen in the past revolutions, but AI just opens doors that no one has ever experienced before. Um, I think it is going to enable businesses to have efficiency and quality of work that they've never seen before. Um, the augmentation and automation of processes that were passed in the previous um, revolutions, very labor intensive, required a lot of time and specialist expertise are now becoming more available and more accessible accessible and just increasing the opportunities that businesses find for themselves. Um, specifically in the HR and labor law space, we are as a company very, very excited to be ahead of the curve in figuring out how we can help other businesses automate and augmentate their processes with the assistance of artificial intelligence. Tell us about the data inputs uh, and the machine processing uh, that your bot would need to be able to have and do to be able to, dis uh, to, be able to adjudicate a disciplinary dispute in the workplace. So we have designed our DE bot to have two main components. The first is that of initiators. So this will enable the initiator to be able to summarize the case, um, perhaps if they've already gathered witness statements, upload those into the bot's knowledge base. Um, it's very conversational in manner. Anybody can use it. It again makes the whole initiating disciplinaries process much easier. Um, it allows the user to upload various company disciplinary codes, um, as well as evidence um, that they've perhaps already gathered, gathered from the case. Um, and it augments all of that information. It uses education that we have trained it on, including the Labor Relations Act Section 8, um, as well as its comprehension abilities and large language model processing abilities to then recommend a sheet of charges. Um, it can draft notices to the employees. And it even goes so far as to use the evidence provided to formulate an opening statement and questions for evidence in chief and cross-examination, um, obviously to prove that they're firstly was a standard. Secondly, the accused was aware of the standard. And thirdly, that the standard was um, indeed um, contra contravened. The second element is the chairperson bot. Um, this effectively helps the chairperson what would have taken hours of manual labor to go through notes and transcriptions we see now coming through more and more often with companies holding disciplinary inquiries either online or making use of recording devices. They can upload the minutes as well again as their disciplinary codes, any other witness statements. And what it will do is once again, using fair labor law procedures, tell you if on a balance of probabilities the accused is found guilty or not. Um, it then obviously uses the disciplinary code to recommend an appropriate sanction and off of the back of that drafts notice to the accused in terms of what the outcome was. Um, it even goes so far as to suggest potential other labor court cases or other law, courts of law cases that the user can compare their findings to just to check that it is up to best practice. And just maybe a final question to explore here. Uh, oftentimes, workplace uh, disciplinary pro uh, processes or disputes um, and transgressions that may have taken place have a great deal of subtext, but are also very context dependent, especially where there are no clear or maybe perhaps no consistent uh, application of workplace policies uh, as per the code of conduct of any particular workplace may have been. How do you mitigate against subtext and context, which are very important from being excluded from the uh, process, especially when it comes to adjudicating on uh, the outputs of the uh, the outputs of the bot. 
Yes, thank you. And I think that's a very important question. Um, for me, there are two factors to consider. Firstly, it's the implementation of how you are going to start augmenting and automating processes, especially disciplinary inquiries. Um, the communication is key. Um, I think change really has to come from the top up and our organization leadership has been instrumental in ensuring that people understand that AI isn't meant to take people's jobs. Um, it is a, AI is an, an automation, not an automation, but rather an augmentation of people's skills and technology coming together. Um, and as you very importantly say, what is very, very unique about our bot is even though it automates a lot of the steps in the process, it requires a large amount of human use still at the moment. 60% um, of it is automated, but that 40% is at the moment very, very reliant on specialists to be able to then, as you say, read the data, uh, validate it and make sure that it has been consistently applied in the organization. Which sort of organizations can benefit from this? I would assume large organizations uh, with a massive headcount uh, that typically go through a lot of these processes. Uh, smaller organizations that have a great deal of agility uh, seem to benefit from continuing to just do this manually. Uh, where do you hope to see the implementation and utilization of this bot find great prominence? Yes, so I believe that this bot is a great solution for all organizations. Um, firstly, what we're finding is that people in organizations are battling to find people willing to initiate these disciplinary inquiries due to the technicality and the, the um, process that they need to follow. Um, it's a great tool for training them um, and teaching them how they approach it. But also, as you say, in large organizations where you've got loads and loads of disciplinary inquiries potentially happening at once, it just helps, as we said, automate that process up to 60%. It provides you with objective um, information and outcomes, and it's able to obviously use more insight than any individual person would be able to have. Courtney, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Courtney Bortas with the Global Business Solutions.